Hi, I'm Nick, and thank you for watching V5 Motorsports. Today, what we're going to be doing is installing a front radiator mud guard. So this can protect your K&M Renegade from mud, rocks, and uh, also it's just pretty much giving you a little extra life to the front end there. I do not want to do a radiator relocation, so this is the best option in order to protect my radiator. Isolators, washers, clips that screw is going to install into, and also it comes with one long strip. What I did is I cut it in half and I already placed it on both sides. It's been sitting there for a couple days, nice and warm, so it should be molded. What you're going to want to do is remove the front bumper and start being able to access this whole black piece of plastic here so we can install the radiator guard kit. Remove the two 13 millimeter bolts that sit and I hold the upper part of the bracket in place. Now to remove the lower portion here, you're actually going to go in with a 13 millimeter long extension. And you can drop it in from the top. Once you have those bolts loosened up, you're going to want to lift the front here a little bit. Get those bolts released. Grab the magnet. Pull them out. Once all the bolts are removed, you can actually use a socket. Place it underneath the front bumper here. And that'll create enough distance for you to allow to snap on your bottom clips to the radiator. Once you get the cover off, there's only a tab that sits here on this side on the front portion of it. Once you release that tab on there, you can actually pull it up and get that portion out of the way. Now, after you move the fuse box out of the way, we can prep the radiator. Regulate that with a pair of standard pliers. Go from the top and press it in. We're going to do the same thing. We go in. We loosened up both bolts on the side of the radiator just a little bit to give it a little more room. We're going to go ahead and slide this clip in. Now, in order to make sure the back of this doesn't hit here, I go on an angle. One large washer. That's the P6, another P6, and then the P4. We didn't mention earlier, but the P5 is on that side. Now the bottom portion is built. The smaller washer, the diameter is smaller, so it fits tighter on there, so actually hold it all in the place while you maneuver it through. Now right now we still have the socket in the way. We're going to insert this grill piece. So you grab a hold of the front end, lift up a little bit. Slide in place. Now we have the Renegade front radiator protector installed. It does give a nice look to it. Now, as you look through the front grill of it, now you just see the black honeycomb of it. You actually don't see the radiator as much as you do. On the sides, it's so apparent. I like it. So when you go through some skeggy stuff, it won't cake on there as much. So much yellow on this thing, it needs a little black in there anyways. At least break it up a little bit more. Looks good though. The reason why I purchased this is because it keeps a distinct look of the Renegade and then also it gives the protection on the radiator to keep the mud, the muck, and everything else that can get inside the fins off of it. You still probably have to go in there with some coil cleaner like you'd use for a household AC system or you know any type of wall-mounted AC. You could still be able to clean off the big chunks that you have on the screen instead of embedding them inside the radiator. So it does offer a level of protection while still keeping that beautiful look that the Renegade has had. Thank you for watching B5 Motorsports. Please like and subscribe to see future videos. 
We're gonna be having upgrades to the Renegade that will also fit on the Outlander. Really appreciate all you people that do subscribe and watch our channel. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the future.